सेकंड्स लिव इन द मोमेंट तंत्र सेज वट सो एवर यू आर एक्सेप्टेड डू नॉट क्रिएट एनी आइडियल्स ऑल आइडियल्स आर ड्रीम्स एंड फॉल्स एक्सेप्ट वट सो एवर इज डू नॉट कॉल इट गुड और बैड डू नॉट ट्राई टू जस्टिफाई इट और रैशनलाइज इट लिव इन द मोमेंट एंड सी दैट दिस इज द केस रिमेन विद द फैक्ट एंड एक्सेप्ट इट दिस इज डिफिकल्ट वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड आर्डवस Why is it so difficult? Because then your ego is shattered. Then you know that you are a sexual animal. Then the high ideal of celibacy cannot help your ego at all. Then you know that you are ninety-nine percent an animal, and and that. one person i leave you just not to shock you too much with the ideals of mahabir buddha krishna christ you feel you are 99% divine and only one person is lacking so sooner or later by the grace of god remember by the grace of god you will attain you do not want to make any effort on your part you feel happy as you are that will not help that will not help at all that can help only to postpone the real problem the real crisis and unless you face that unless you face that crisis you will never be transformed for transformation first and the foremost criteria is you have to accept as you are one has to pass through it one has to suffer it but only the facticity of life leads towards tr- truth Fic- fictions will not help you have to accept this is how you are so that means you have to start living moment to moment so remain with the fact whatsoever you are animal or whatever it is okay sex is there anger is there greed is there accept okay so it is there it is so such is the case the universe happens to you in this way you have found yourself in this way in this situation this is how life has made you this is how life is forcing you leading you to somewhere life is a river it flows if you are moving up a stream that is the function of ego surrender means total acceptance and you are flowing in the direction of the flow relax and allow the life to lead you life is a river it is rivering flow with it relax what is the difficulty in relaxing the difficulty is that if you relax you cannot maintain the ego ego can be maintained only in resistance when you say no ego is strengthened when you say yes ego simply disappears that's why the master asks you certain things to see if there is no a function of ego and if there is yes to everything ego is ego disappears 
That is why it is so difficult to say yes to anything. And when you are, you find it difficult and arduous to say everything that life brings for you, the process of transformation neither begins nor gets impetus. Even in ordinary things, it is so difficult to say yes. We want to say no. The first response to anything is always no. A capital no. The ego, the I, feels good only when it is fighting. If you are fighting with someone, it is good. An ego feels good. If you are fighting with yourself, ego feels even more good. Because to fight with someone else creates more problems around you. When you are fighting with yourself, there is no problem around you. When you are fighting with someone else, the society will create problems for you. When you are fighting with yourself, the whole society will worship you as a holy man. It is good because you are not harming anyone. And really, if you are someone who is harming yourself, if you are not allowed to harm yourself, you will harm others. Otherwise, where will that energy move? So society is always happy with those idiots who are harming themselves. The society feels good because the violence is redirected back. They will not do any harm to anyone. That is why we call these people as holy ones, the good ones. They are good because they do not do much harm. They are doing it, but they are doing it to themselves. That is suicidal. A killer, a murderer can become suicidal if he turns against himself. So the society feels good and unburdened of a murderer if he becomes suicidal. The society pays respect, appreciates him, but the person remains the same within. He remains violent. Now he is violent with himself or he remains greedy but talks of non-greed. This you see all around. But look, try to understand the talk of non-greed. The base is always greed. They say that if you are non-greedy, only then you will achieve paradise. And what is to be gained in paradise? Everything that greed would like. So be non-greedy to achieve paradise. If you are not a celibate, you will not go to heaven. And what are you going to achieve in heaven? All that you condemn here on earth, then beautiful women are allowed and there is no comparison because anyone who is beautiful on the earth will become ugly. This is what the scriptures say. Some of the scriptures say and propagate that. And the women that are in heaven never become old, never become old, they remain fixed at the age of 16. So be celibate here so that you can indulge there. 
but that type of but what type of logic is this the motivation remains the same the motivation remains exactly the same only the object changes this the time sequence changes you are postponing your desires for the future this is a bargain tantra says try to understand this whole working of the mind and then it is good not to fight then it is good to flow as you are and accept it we are afraid because if we accept then how will we change the tantra says acceptance is transcendence you have tried fighting you have not changed look at your whole life analyze it and if you are honest you will find that you have not changed a single bit not an inch move back towards your childhood analyze your whole life and no matter what you may be talking and thinking the exact actual life has remained the same and you have been fighting continuously nothing happens out of it so try now tantra tantra says do not fight no one ever changes with fight accept it then there is no question of what is indulgence and what is repression and what is celibacy and what is this and that there is no question then whatsoever is you accept it and flow with it you dissolve your ego resistance you relax into existence and go wherever it leads if the destiny of the ex if the destiny of the existence is that you are meant to be an animal then say says tantra be an animal what will happen out of it and how does it happen tantra says total transformation happens because once you accept the inner division dissolves you become one then there is not two in you the saint and the animal the saint repressing the animal and the animal throwing the saint aside every moment then there is no two in you you have become one and this oneness gives energy as your energy is wasted in inner fight and conflict this acceptance makes you one now there is no animal who is to be condemned and there is no saint who is to be appreciated you are whatsoever you are you have accepted it you are relaxed with it so your energy becomes one then you are a whole and not divided against yourself this wholeness is the alchemical tr transformation with this wholeness you have energy how you are now you are not wasting your life there is no inner conflict you are at ease within the energy which you gain through non conflict becomes your awareness remember the energy which you gain through non conflict becomes your awareness enough